Shedister was back in court this morning. She potentially faces two life sentences for the deaths of four year old Zane Phillips and eight year old Alana Phillips. Michael Sandlin brings us the latest from inside the courtroom and new efforts from the community to support the victim's family. Marshalla Chadester had her second appearance here at Monroe County Court on Tuesday, but unlike her arraignment, which featured interruptions from the victim's family and even surprise testimony, this court appearance was smooth and brief. Chet Esther and her attorney, Bill Kolovos, made their appearance this time over Zoom. Chet Esther is currently out on bail, having recently posted the $1.5 million bond set by a Monroe County judge. However, she is required to wear an ankle monitor and is required to have no alcohol. In court, Kolovos made clear that he intends to have at least two witnesses, but because he's still deep in the building phase of his next case, he told the judge he needs an extension before the next meeting. Your Honor, we had an opportunity to talk to, uh, late yesterday afternoon. I talked to, talk to Mr. Yorkey. Uh, because of the voluminous discovery that's involved, my client is out on bond. Uh, we would ask for, if we could have it set approximately 30 days out. The judge said Chad Esser's next court date for June 27th and 28th, and with that, court was adjourned no more than five minutes after it started. Court will take a short recess. I'll reconvene in five minutes. Thank you, Judge. But outside the courtroom, the community is taking no breaks in their efforts to help the victims. At least seven fundraisers have already happened or are in the works. On Monday, the local Dairy Queen in Monroe donated 20% of all proceeds to the families affected in the crash and managed to raise 500 bucks. And a nearby Rockwood, barbecue joint here on River Inn is throwing their own fundraiser Tuesday evening. The Flat Rock Little League reached out to us, um, their family with Mariah and the babies that were lost. So they came to us and asked us if we would help them. So they're going to throw an all-you-can-eat fundraiser with raffles and will donate 100% of the proceeds directly to the family of Zane and Alana. Well, they don't know exactly how many people will be there. Mayo says the outpouring from the community gives them hope they're in for a good night. We've already received tons of donations, um, money donations, and gift baskets for raffles. So it's turning out to be something bigger than what we expected. Mayo tells me that the event's going to run through 9 p.m. or until they run out of food. Meanwhile, with Chad Esser out on bail, I tried knocking on her door today for comment, but I didn't receive any answer. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.